let's check out what's going on for Twin Flames. This is a collective reading. Please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. Any zodiac signs that do show up, I'll get a little more information about them. So it could be you or it could be someone you're uh, connected to or are paying attention to. I'll do that in the extended. Let's see where we're going. Um, tomorrow night we'll be doing the numerology class. We talk a lot about path of destiny in that class. And I am going to talk about angel numbers as it relates to 1111 and things along those lines. So if you want to understand your own frequency in this world, that's a really good place to start. Okay, the link is below if you want to jump on to that. We'll see you tomorrow night. Let's see where we go here. All right, discovering truth. Choosing your path, all is possible. Journey by moonlight, believe in magic. So some of you, uh, I do feel like are opening up more to who you truly are. And what I mean by that is, you know, when we do classes or not, cl not even classes, but when we look at more in our astrology, we understand the energy around sun, moon, rising and Venus. We understand our own astrology um, uh, charts, our birth charts, our secondary progressions charts. We start to see, we start to get a picture of who we are and where we're going, not just like, okay, this is the moment of our birth, but where am I going? Um, I feel like that's what's happening. You're discovering, you're waking up. That's truly, in my view, the definition of the spiritual path is you wake up to who you truly are. So I'm going to do a little uh, divine feminine here, divine masculine here, and then the connection. All right, so let's see where we go here. All right, so the energy of the Divine Feminine right now, this is for the collective. Underneath is Devil Energy, Capricorn Energy. Divine Feminine is showing up as the Two of Pentacles. Lots of choices right now. All right, lots of choices coming at you. How you're seeing the situation, Knight of Pentacles. I'll talk you through this in a second. What the universe is saying to you, lovers, that's no surprise. What's going on uh, underneath here, what's going on subconsciously for you is Chariot. Let's get this show on the road, okay? So this is speaking to a group of divine feminines who have been maybe stuck in a, in a um, holding pattern. All right, Two of Pentacles, this is like, which way are we going? One day I feel like it's this, one day I feel like it's that, one day I feel like it's this, one day I feel like it's that. Right. There's a choice all over this. The universe is saying, well, you have a choice. All right. You have a choice of which direction you want to follow. What's underneath here for you going on subconsciously is I would like to move forward with this, please. But how you're seeing things is I'm standing still. I'm standing still right in place like things are not moving. OK. And uh, probably why you're watching this reading to begin with. Um, let's look at the Divine Masculine here, and then I'll do a card for the connection, and then I'll kind of talk you through the whole thing, okay? I need more shuffling. More shuffling, please. Okay. Where's the Divine Masculine right now? It's underneath, King of Cups. That's beautiful energy. Divine Masculine is showing up as the Hierophant, the Taurus energy. Energy of commitment. There's King of Cups here, which is loving energy. All right. How they're seeing it. Nine of Swords. Up in their head. What's the universe saying? Get on your spiritual path, baby. That's what the universe is saying to them. They could also be stuck in a commitment that isn't working for them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's subconscious for the Divine Masculine? Five of Cups. A lot of regrets. This Divine Masculine is likely somebody who um, is stuck in a long-term commitment that they don't want to be in, okay? And I feel like the Feminine is on the way out or wanting to get out of this, wanting to move on from this. Yep. Energy of the connection. Queen of Wands. All right, that kind of goes along with this Emperor a little bit. This Fire Energy. Um, let's see, I'm going to do this. So... 
it is the connection, the, the, the fire of the connection that is keeping the connection kind of boiling along under the surface. There's a lot of love coming from the masculine to the feminine, a lot of regrets, a lot of sadness up in their heads about what to do next. Um, and in general, not just about how they see the feminine, but I feel like it's in general a questioning of commitment, a questioning of this kind of experiment that we have been on for the last couple of hundred years where we have um, just in general about marriage, in general about what does commitment look like or feel like or how does it, how do we do it? Not like it's being perpetrated on us, but how are we handling commitment and what does it really mean? What are we committing to? Um, I feel like this divine masculine has a lot of regrets about how they've handled commitment. And I also think there's a lot of power on the divine feminine side here of wanting to move things forward. There's quite a passionate connection here, Aries energy and Leo energy about, um, Leo is the natural ruler of the fifth house, which is the house of sex and joy and fun and all of that kind of stuff. Aries energy is about moving things forward. I am not seeing any movement here. I, what I'm seeing is the feminine wants to move forward, is desirous of moving forward, but I feel like the feminine sees a lot of work to be done. Not just like, oh, it's going to take a lot of work for us together, but this person has this, uh, they see their masculine as having a lot of work that needs to happen before this connection can be brought back together. I'm going to read some special instructions <laughs> or some special information for Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Taurus. The universe is asking the divine masculine to think about it more in terms of a spiritual connection. So what I was saying about commitment, how we're handling commitment, how we're doing commitment, spectacularly unhappy people all over the place. And I think that can even draw a lot of people into Twin Flame, um, even if they're not a Twin Flame, because they're so spectacularly unhappy with how their commitment uh, or their, um, you know, how they believe commitment needs to be undertaken. Uh, and I do feel like there's going to be some shifting and changing with how we're doing commitment. There's something here about that. Discovering the truth of true commitment. And I think the feminine is very much on board with that. Like, okay, the way commitment is being handled to date is not a thing or it's not going to be a thing anymore. We're going to move out of it as a society. The more of us become open and awakened and on this path, the more we're going to move out of structures that are, or, are um, perpetrating unhappiness uh, because of our lack of awareness of really how to do commitment right. And I mean that. I mean, how am I actively engaging with another person that I'm committed to? And how does that unfold over years and years and years of time? I think the movement more into the spiritual way of doing commitment versus uh, a commitment where we're sharing um, financial... Um, Bur burdens, but financial responsibilities, let's say, financial responsibilities, uh, living conditions, living in, you know, who's got a job, who doesn't have a job, who takes care of the kids, like all of these things that are now society is kind of breaking through, breaking down. We're not going to be, um, we might go back to a more communal way of life, which is a very different thing than what we've been doing. But what's underneath for the feminine is this devil energy of wanting to move out of the toxicity of um, a relationship type that we have been living in for such a long time, maybe, you know, 15, no, 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 150 years or something like that. Maybe not even, maybe 125 years that we've been dealing with this. The feminine has, this is choice, right? We've got lovers and two of pentacles. The chariot is like trying to hold these two things together trying to hold these the new way and the traditional way or the old way to trying to hold these together the masculine's already on the on the path of like no things have to change 
things have to change. Okay. So the masculine and feminine are bringing about a change in terms of how we do commitment and how we love and live moving forward in the 21st century. Um, much more of a spiritual connection, much less of a physical connection, I think. Um, and that's what's being chosen here. Interesting. Taurus, Aries, Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn. Okay, so I will take a look at these in the extended if you want to continue on with me. Um, that's where we're going to go. So link is below. I'll see you.